Hey everybody and welcome back to Art à la carte. One piece of advice that I give a lot of beginning artists is to keep or save your old artwork. And this is for a couple of different reasons. One, it's really good to look back at your art and see how you've improved. It can be really encouraging. But another reason to keep your old artwork is it's just fun to see the journey that you've been on, to see what things you were interested in drawing and how you drew them. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some random old artwork. I've done videos on old sketchbooks before, but in the midst of my very late spring cleaning, this is now summer cleaning, I'm cleaning out a corner in my studio that I haven't touched in years, I came across a filing box. It's this box that has a whole bunch of little compartments in it, and I'm pretty sure it has old artwork in it. I haven't seen it in years. I'm not exactly certain what's in the boxes, but I thought we'd look at a couple of drawers together. So I'm just going to randomly pull out the first drawer, and let's take a peek. Hopefully it's nothing too embarrassing. And here is the first box. So in here we have a paper airplane because that's important to keep. A fuzzball. Actually, a lot of fuzzballs. Ooh. And here's our first piece of artwork. Now, I can't remember if I've shown this before. I remember drawing this, but I can't remember showing it. So, yeah, like I said, I don't know what's in here. So, there's a random mermaid. This is horse with some major mane and tail. Sketch of a eagle, looks like. I wish these had dates on them. I did not date any of these. I would say these are probably about anywhere from 10 to 5 years old. 5 to 10 years old. That's a really good sketch of some birds. I like that one. So this one here... Okay, so these ones, I was actually coming up with a card line of mice. I had a whole bunch of mice that I would draw greeting cards for, so these are some of the sketches for the mice that I had. So yeah, this one is definitely probably 10 plus years old. A lion roaring like a lion. Okay, I can remember this one's much older. This one definitely over 10 years old for this. Oh yeah, we're getting into some of the older pieces. So these are see this is another reason why it's great to keep sketches, old sketches, because some of these pieces can just be really inspiring to create finished pieces now. Here's a piece I did studying a leafy sea dragon, which I think is the most awesome undersea creature. I love leafy sea dragons. I think I must have been wanting to draw some birds, because I have a lot of eagles in here. Some more coloring pages. Ooh, that one's on cardstock. Character sketch for a Pegasus. I like the overhead view there. Some sea turtles. Another character design. During these pieces, I was reading the Chronicles of Narnia series. The the one that's really famous is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, but my favorite is The Horse and His Boy. I love that story. So I think this was kind of some designs from the characters from that book. Inuyasha! Okay, so I know this piece. Um, oh goodness, this would have to be 10 to 15 years old. And I would draw... These These were car cartoon characters of myself dressed up as different anime characters and then my cat at the time. And so the, there might be more in here, but we dressed up... This is us dressed up with Inuyasha. <laughs> Obviously, my cat had a crush on Inuyasha. So this was... Okay, this is a character that I had for a story. I'm going to have to tell you guys this story someday. Let me know if you want to see that story. If you'd be interested in hearing that story, I can tell it to you. Okay, so here's another one. Uh, this is me dressed up as Ariel and my catfish flounder. <laughs> another random horse. Okay. And now we are jumping ahead. This is one of my earlier tutorial videos on how to draw a wolf howling. So this is the actual piece, I think, that I did for that video. I don't know. And, okay, so this is another YouTube video, I think. 
cat stretching. Pretty sure I had that video. I made the video. <laughs> Scary face. <laughs> I was working on a comic book story based in like early colonial America. And so this was one of my character designs and she's really freaky looking. Another character design. I remember drawing this one. I don't know if you can see it. It's, I don't think I can back my camera anymore out. So this was a little old granny lady that lived all by herself, and she never had any children. So she would go out and adopt troll babies that were abandoned. So she had all these little troll babies that she took care of. A cartoon sketch of myself and my cat Oya, and here's the colored version. Right there. This was way back. A long time ago. Man, date your artwork, you guys, so that you know what, so you know what it is. A little fairy reading human stories. Some sort of Grecian lady. Okay. I loved epic, tragic stories. So this is based on a chess game. And this is the queen and a pawn. And the king just got checkmated. Checkmate. In chess, when you get checkmate, you die. So she lost her... It was really a sad picture. But what if chess was real life? Ah, oh, see, these are cute. This was another uh, greeting card design. It was a little quail fairy. And there she's down there. So cute. And a very large headed cute fairy. But she is cute. Oh, the fairy queen. Mm -hmm. A very anime inspired oak fairy. All these pictures are kind of I hope there are no spiders. Oh, here's my cards. You'll see those in a second. Another anime design character. Ooh, she's pretty. Fairy ballerina. A mermaid who obviously doesn't want to hear the ocean something. I don't know. Ooh, this one's cool. Now that's a clever little idea. So it's like one of those I shall see into your future kind of magic balls. But there's a mermaid trapped inside. <laughs> Character design. Ooh, Sailor Moon fan art. So this is Sailor Saturn. Also a tragic story. I love them tragic stories. So this one was the line art. Oh, goodness. Long time ago when I had an Elfwood account. I don't know how many of you guys remember Elfwood, but... One of my friends on Elfwood wrote a poem story about a fairy who put stars in her hair and I drew a picture of it. So that's the line art. I don't even have, I don't think I have this original because I colored it digitally. I don't even think I have it anymore. A little leprechaun girl. This was based off of a video game, but I can't remember which one. I never played the video game, but one of my friends did and I drew her character for her. There is a beluga mermaid sketch. I remember when I drew this, I was so happy with it. I loved this piece. Now looking at it, it's just a little wonky, but yeah. I don't know what that says. Regular mermaid, that's what it says. So these are all sketches from our, for the design of my original mermaid coloring book. Which, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link to my Etsy shop, and you can go and look at all the pictures for the mermaids I did for that coloring book. This was the front cover of the actual mermaid coloring book, so when you buy the mermaid coloring book, you get this page. So here's the character design of a good Siamese cat. Okay, very Lord of the Rings inspired jewelry. Ooh, she's got a cool costume. I'm liking that. Like bells and things. I was watching a lot of video games at the time, because that's very video gamey. 
Another mermaid. As you guys know, I love drawing mermaids. Always have. Probably always will. Another mermaid. <laughs> Character design. Oh, that's a cute mermaid riding on the back of sea turtle. She's cute. I wonder what she was supposed to be catching. <laughs> Very long-legged fetty girl. <laughs> there we go. She's something. I don't know what her story is, but she's got some sort of story. She looks like a a wise woman or something or a shaman. Yeah. Oh no, she's cute. That's cute. Ballerina Fetty. I'm just expecting like a spider to crawl out because this is just just seems like it should have a spider in this box living in my art. Another oh this is a jazz fairy. Jazz, jazz. Life is like a lime. Sweet and sour and so sublime. Bonus points if you know what cartoon that came from. An almost finished fairy ballerina dancer. I like her pose. Trying my hand at portrait sketches. Unfinished girl tiptoeing. Character design. Fairy design. Who is trying to do the tiger with just like the stripes. That's kind of cool. Okay, so this is a print of a painting I did when I tried to self-print my thing. So I scanned it in and printed it off. Same with this one. I'm going to just redraw that one. Yeah, if, if, if you guys see any pictures in here that you want me to do a redraw of, just let me know. Try to describe it or something or give a timestamp and maybe I'll do a redraw of it. Code Cop is the girl. Love that show. Now, let me see here. This, I will tell you right now, this is uh, a coloring page. I did not draw this. I colored it, but I am fairly certain I did not draw that. Okay, so here are my actual cards that I made. So this was the Christmas card. And again, no date. Oh, wait, here we go. 04. So this is pretty old. 04 for that one. My card, no. And I have a carousel horse and a metal lark. I'll print of that original picture. <laughs> I love this one. It's Santa Mouse. That was fun. I enjoyed that one. And then this was, oh, this one is called Waiting for Santa. So funny story about this one. On the back I would put my stamp and then the title and I had a typo. So instead of Santa, I wrote Satan. <laughs> So I sent out a bunch of cards with Waiting for Satan on them. Yeah, that was not good. You want to remember this one. Again, This a lot of this artwork was for my Elfwood account. So I would do the sketches and, and line work, and then I would scan it into my computer and then color it digitally. Digitally. So this was Lantern Fairy. And I remember it was really cool because when I did the coloring, it just had this really cool glow. And I'm really sad that Elfwood doesn't exist anymore, so I don't have any of those pictures anymore. Here's a very Zelda-ish. She's got the Triforce all over. I was, must have been right in the midst of playing one of the Zelda games. Okay, so here is another anime bonus picture. So if you guys know what character this anime is from, uh, bonus points for you. Is there anything else in here? Oh, really scary people. What? I mean, she's cute, but her forehead is huge. This was a story idea I had for a, a story about a ballerina. Oh, these are all the pictures in here. Is this all the whole story? Nope, this isn't. This is a illustration for one of the Narnia books. I can't remember which one, but that's Lucy if you know the Narnia stories. And she went up into the magician's tower and found a book she wasn't supposed to read and started reading it. I can't remember what book that is. It's the one with the duffel pads in it. So if you know which one it is. So here's Card Captor Sakura. This one I did draw. 
So you can definitely tell the difference. A print of a picture I did. So I think these here was my first portfolio, oh goodness, that I sent to a publishing company. I was trying to get my greeting cards published. So this was giving them a sample of what my cards look like. I can see why they didn't hire me. I must have really liked this piece because I have so many prints of it. <laughs> oh, there's this mermaid. I remember doing this one. This was fun. Again, no date. This one... I did in 2003 this piece. See, that might be a fun one to redraw. There's the original line art for it. The fairy. Very Esmeralda-ish. Esmeralda slash Thumbelina-ish. My eel maid. Little tiny fairy on a mushroom. So a cartoon of myself and my friend and my cat probably watching anime together. Okay, so this, I don't remember the story, but it's epic, whatever it is. So we got this kind of Grecian lady with a baby and her pet crow, which in, though it's kind of cheesy looking, is really kind of cool. I want to know her story. Mm. Here's the lost princess. I remember this piece. I don't remember why she was lost. I don't remember if she ever got found. But I remember drawing this and just being super proud of this piece. A watercolor and ink mermaid. That's kind of scary looking. Oh, we're getting really old. Oh. I would say this is probably 2002, maybe even 2001. Some of my very first digitally colored artwork coming in here. Again, all of these. Oh, this is kind of cool because some of these are my Elfwood pieces. So this is 2002. It says my Unicorn Forest, I think this one is called. There's a whole bunch in here. Let's pull them out and see what's in here. I liked this piece. I liked my little, little elf guy sleeping in the background and my little snail right down there. So there's the original line art. Again, another illustration for the horse and his boy. That's actually the horse and his boy. Um, I probably want to be Alice in Wonderland piece. And then Gothic Alice in Wonderland. This is 02. Ooh, look at that Mad Hatter. I generally don't do kind of dark and creepy, and definitely back in 2002 did not do dark and creepy. Well, that is dark and creepy. Man. All right, we're coming towards the end. Made a card of this. Now this is one I would like to do a redrawing of, so maybe I won't show it too much, but yeah. I might I'm gonna have to be a redraw. Card designs. Ooh, the colored horse and his boy pieces. This was, oh, I think, this this is Art Mouse. This is me as a mouse. <laughs> but I always love this one. This one was my favorite piece. Sadly, I've sold almost all of these originals. But my friend bought this one, so I'm happy she has it. I still have this one. And I think I have this one. If I do, I have no clue where it is. Hmm. So these are all the cartoon me and my cat hiding. So we're all Disney princesses. So that's me as Meg with my Pegasus cat. There's the colored version of Ariel and Cat Flounder. Probably my favorite, which is Jasmine and the Abu cat. Pocahontas and Miko cat. And my second favorite, which is Ariel and Snail cat. <laughs> There's the colored version of that one. This is my attempt to also do a greeting card that's more what I considered contemporary greeting cards. So, yeah. Another art piece. This was a design for one of my coloring books, but I don't think it got into the actual coloring book. And then there's this one here. A little character design of a little kid named Bobby and his dog named Poochie. And last but not least in this box we have an illustration with a song lyrics from a song. I think How Great Thou Art? Yes. So there we go. 
These are kind of fun to go through, a little bit scary to go through on video, but yeah. So I encourage you guys, I know it can be kind of a hassle to keep your old artwork, but um, so much fun to go back through and look at things. If you have some old artwork that you've drawn, I encourage you to be bold, be brave, share it with me. I would love to see it. So if you put it on Instagram or Twitter, make sure to tag me in those, or you can, of course, send me an email with the pictures in it. I'll leave all that information in the description box of this video. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed it myself. So until next time, keep drawing. God bless you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.